Hello everyone. So this video lecture is about the first B Tech twenty twenty four twenty five academic year and R twenty two regulation guidelines. So this regulation guidelines are going to be given in this uh, uh, video lecture here. So actually we know that the uh, BTEC course is uh, for 4 years that is 1, 2, 3 and 4 years and uh, each year consists of 2 semester year 1 and 2 semester in the first year and 3rd semester and 4th semester in the second year 5, 6 in the third year as well as uh, 7 and 8 in the final year. So this is about uh, the course of study that is 4 years and uh, we will go to discuss about the uh, R22 regulation. First of all, we should know about uh, what is regulation and what is R22, why it is uh, R22 regulation. Actually, before this regulation, R18 regulation was introduced. And before R18, R16 regulation was introduced. Before R16, that is R13 regulation. Then why these regulations are to be changed? That is actually here R13 means this regulation is started in the academic year 2013. Actually here regulation is changing from year to year or two, after two years or maybe some after four years. Why it is changing means regulations are changing for if there is any change in the exam pattern or there is any change in the syllabus pattern or any change in the subject wise the regulation will going to change. So here R13 means the, uh, the person, the students who joined in the academic year 2013 are comes under R13 regulation. Not only 2013 joined students, 2014, 2015. So these three academic year joined students are comes under R13 regulation. And if we come to R16 regulation, that is regulation is changed. That means there may be some syllabus changing or there may be some exam patterns are also changed. That is it is in R16 that means the academic year is 2016 from as well as 2017. So the students who join in the academic year, these two academic years are comes under R16 regulation. And R18 that means uh, it is introduced in the academic year 2018 and uh, it is also for 2019 joint students 2020 and 2021 that means the students who joined in these four academic years are comes under R18 regulation then R22 that means 2022 that is 2022 2023 even now this batch 2024 these three batches are comes under R22 regulation and that is it is introduced in the academic year 22 and it is continuing for 2023 batch as well as 2024 batch so that's why the 2024 batch students are comes under R22 regulation. So those students, these students should follow these guidelines, R22 guidelines, which is given by the JNTUH. So this is about the regulation pattern. Next, meet examinations. Uh, actually, before that, academic calendar. Now, what is academic calendar for R20? I mean, 2024 to 2025 regulation batch. The commencement of classwork. That means the classworks are started uh, on 27th of month. I mean, year 2024. On this date, the classes were started, and the first meet examination. That is on first. November 2024 on this day first mid examinations are going to be start as well as the second mid examinations are started on date 6 1 2024 on this date second mid examinations are started as well as semester examinations semester examinations are from 22 1 2024 from this date semester examinations are going to be start this is about the academic calendar for the first BTEC 2024 batch. And the examination pattern that is the total marks 
for first we take any subject comes under that is the total marks are 100 and uh, in this uh, internal marks are 40 and uh, external that is uh, semi examination marks are total 60 marks so actually then what about the 40 marks here actually here two meets are conducted for internal that is mid one and mid two and the syllabus for mid one is uh, actually here syllabus for mid one is uh, two end of units so total in any subject of first year BTEC, total have five units. So for mid one, the syllabus is two, first to two end of units, and for mid two, the syllabus is the next two end of units. And the marks for mid one, even mid two, are forty marks. Mid one is forty, and mid two is forty. And the splitting of marks is descriptive questions are for twenty marks, and the objective is for ten marks and viva voice is for 5 marks as well as assignment for 5 marks it is also same for second mid examinations also that is total 40 marks so the average of these two will be added in the internal marks that is 40 if a person get 30 marks in the first mid and 20 marks in the second mid that is total of 50 marks divided by 2 that is 25 marks will be added for internal examination for this candidate as well as external examinations is for 60 marks here that is the pattern is uh, 5 10 marks questions that is uh, 50 marks and uh, 10 1 mark questions 10 1 so 10 that is total of 60 marks so what about uh, pass marks for internal and external exams For internal exam for 40 marks you need to get 14 marks and for external exam 60 marks you need to get 21 minimum marks. Here totally 35 but by adding these two you should definitely get 40 percent marks for I mean 100 marks total marks you should get 40 percent marks actually in the 35 marks eh? but in the low plus 3 in the low plus 2 ala add just 28 line or hour 2. But minimum in the row 21 Rawali, in the row minimum 14 Rawali, Rendu add just 35 plus 5 marks definitely add a e 40 marks was the subject to Manamo pass in it too. So this is about pass marks for any subject. And credit system actually you need to know about credit system for example in the first year you may have the subjects engineering chemistry and uh, physics uh, and uh, drawing uh, eg so mathematics you may have different subjects so different subjects having different credits for example for engineering chemistry there may be two credits for physics there may be one and half credits for drawing there may be three credits or math there may be four credits so here the credits will be given for every subject then actually here total credits for first B tech even uh, co combining the first semester and second semester total credits are 40. So a credit system allowed to that engineering chemistry and a subject uh, mere pass I mean 99 China, 99 marks of China candidate ki alage 41 of China, 41 marks of China candidate ki kuda, same credit system, two credits, full credits. If you are failed, that means you got only 39 marks, then you get uh, zero credits. That means uh, if you pass in just pass in uh, highest marks, uh, credits the uh, same credits. Other uh, fail at uh, zero credits. So, in uh, first year, uh, 40 credits. Uh, first year, I pay uh, uh, second year, ki promote uh, and uh, second year, uh, promote uh, and uh, then you need to get uh, 50% of credits. Uh, that is. You need to get uh, 20 credits after completion of your first year. Actually, for in the first year total, you have 40 credits. In that, you need to get 20 credits to promote into second year. So, this is about the credit system. Yeah, thank you for watching this uh, video and subscribe this channel to get more updates about the JN2H as well as SB Tech. Thank you.